I remember when I was a kid waking up to these beautiful sounds early in the morning and seeing my mom weaving a rug. I didn't know at the time it wasn't just not any other rug but Persian rug. That's being a way of art to make something astonishingly beautiful to design our home. When visiting relatives or friends, I would notice they also have their rug weaving set up too. Depending on its size, you could see even two ladies working on one rug, if it was a big one. But let me break the stereotype right here. Men weave too. In fact, I would argue their numbers might be even more than women artists. Sometimes that my mom opens up how it was being a rug artist in the past, she talks about my grandfather and uncles helping in weaving a rug to finish it faster because they needed to sell it to provide life for kids. Now you are probably wondering that's not a typical way of an artist's life, but this is just something beyond passion. For over 2000 years now, we've been weaving these rugs in Iran. Funny enough, it wasn't until a couple of years ago that I learned other languages and studied different cultures that I realized, man, the entire world knows about Persian rugs. In fact, sometimes even better than us. You know, back in the times, as it was an in-house way to make some money, oftentimes mothers and wives would help out their husband to manage life costs as husband was on the farm or taking care of poultry because raising eight kids which was the case for my mom's family wasn't easy in fact my mom being the oldest kid in the family learned to weave to help out too now after 15 years she felt artistic again and since she still had her frame and tools we needed to buy yarn natural yarn and of course pick a good design after all these were done and she started to work on it, I could see how the entire thing affected her well-being. I could see she's more happier and feels better now that she can express herself again through art. And as we're talking right now, the yarn for the next rug is on its way to come. Of course, it's not easy at all. The amount of patience that it requires to weave even a single line by going through all that detail and putting every bit in its place is just mind-blowing. But she loves it and wants to continue making art and selling them. This is going to be a long video because I just wasn't able to cut it. Like I saw her working day and night to create this for over a month but it just makes me feel guilty whenever I want to cut some part of it. Basically as the video goes forward the rug is gonna progress and you're gonna see the final result at the end. So thanks for being here and enjoy the rest.
Ах, что это?
Right, what's good everyone? You can see that we're almost here. Yeah, on top of this. Yeah, right below this area. Right here. One other thing that worth mentioning is that on top of what you see in the beginning that you need to turn the, the strings of yarns to the shapes of balls so that way it's easier in the process. You also need to, after you bought the yarns, it's better to wash them because it really helps the yarn with its color. Yes. Uh, what a good feeling. These are going to be last stitches to the rack. Go ahead. Oh, we're gonna. Last stitches of yarn, ending the rag weaving process. Very last one.
pahalıdan uzatsa hamburger Angola diyor. Geçse ben de şimdi böyle duruşu da. İnanın kaybeler benim baba. Sen afalıyla bu benim parlıyla. Squeezing the stitches together. A special moment. This is a match.
First time this carpet touching the ground. سال هفتاد نو.